and welcome to Secrets of the Solent presents Discovery Sessions and today we're going to be talking about the common whelk. So the common whelk is uh, one of the largest, that's my assistant Raj, who is going to be assisting me trying to uh, show you all these species today. But we're talking about this particular one. How many of you have found this shell on the beach? Uh, and this is the whelk shell that's left over when, when the animal itself dies. Um, and the whelk is uh, one of the largest sea snails that we find here in the UK, but it's a carnivorous sea snail. So it's different to your garden snail. Um, it doesn't eat vegetation. It eats other animals. And it's got a really unique way of doing that. Um, because it's a mollusk, it has something called a modified tooth called a radula. Uh, and this radula is a bit like a drill. And what it does is the whelk will sneak up on its prey and then its saliva has this particular type of acid and the acid starts to wear away at the shell and then it uses its tooth which is shaped like a drill there you go Raj is demonstrating having a look there um, and it drills into the shellfish and then it throws up digestive juices liquefies its prey and sucks it up into a nice tasty milkshake so that is your common whelk. Now, we do have a fishery of whelks in the UK. If you were around in the 1970s, you remember on a Friday night, the cockle and whelk man would come round when you're having your Friday, Friday pint. Um, but these days, not a lot of the British public eat them. And they're generally a sustainable uh, seafood because they're potted for. So in terms of damaging the seabed, it's quite minimal. Um, but stocks have fallen recently. Now, um, in fact, most of the whelks that we do catch these days are exported abroad to places like South Korea and such. Now, Raj is hiding um, some of the other things that you might have found on the beach. I don't know if you guys have seen these, these weird spongy masses before, but these are the whelk eggs that wash up on storms. So if you do get to go out um, just for a, a walk down the beach to um, get a bit of fresh air, do look out for them. You'll see them on the beach this time of year. Um, and each uh, little pod would have had eggs, you know, 10 or 20 eggs with inside them um, and then they would hatch. So that's all for today's little session. I'm just trying something out. Uh, it'd be great to hear your feedback. I am doing this at home with two cats, so I do apologise for any disruptions. And hopefully these sessions will get a bit better. But I'm hoping you've enjoyed it and, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks very much.